start soon. I once again remind you to please turn off all cellular phones and electronic devices. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the 2022 graduating class from South Dakota State University. Founded in 1881 as the state's Morrill Act land-grant institution, South Dakota State University improves quality of life through exemplary teaching, relevant research, and connected outreach. South Dakota State University is located on the ancestral territory of the Ocheti Shakoe, an alliance that consisted of the Santee, Yankton, and Teton Lakota. The full land acknowledgement found on page 49 of your program serves as a reminder that before this site was called SDSU, it was home to native nations indigenous to this location. Today's graduates represent a broad range of academic disciplines, some traced to the university's earliest days and others developed in response to the needs of the state and region. The academic processional which precedes today's ceremonies is one of the oldest and most colorful customs that link today's education to its early origins. Students may be wearing cords granted by academic clubs or honor societies, stoles which signify participation in civic organizations or representations of one's home country or service to the United States of America. Under the leadership of Dean Rebecca Botkanutsen, members of the Van D. and Barbara B. Fishback Honors College are represented by their banner carrier, lecturer Julie Leibold. Under the leadership of Dean Marianne Krogh, candidates in the College of Nursing were led by their banner carrier, instructor Wayne Hintz. Charlene Wolfhall, candidates in the College of Natural Sciences, are led by their banner carrier, Assistant Professor Natalie Takes. and allied health professions are led by their banner carrier, Assistant Professor Joseph Berenzi.
Nicole Lounsbury. Candidates in the Graduate School are represented by their banner carrier, Volker Brosel. And under the leadership of Provost Dennis Hedge, faculty are led by their banner, banner carrier, Professor Rommel Zhu. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. is printed in the program. The mace, carried by Professor Mary Caspers Graper, signifies the authority and pageantry of academic ceremonies. Mary Caspers Graper has worked at South Dakota State University as a reference librarian, acquisitions librarian, and for the past 15 years as head of technical services, where she continued working with acquisitions and supervised serials, cataloging, and library computer support. She also advised and assisted the dean in managing the budget and overall operations of Hilton M. Briggs Library. She recently retired after 36 years. She has served on the Academic Senate, Faculty Development Committee, and Common Reed Committee. She is a member of the South Dakota Library Association, Mountain Plains Library Association, and the American Library Association. Brenda Anderson grew up on a farm family near Monroe. A proud graduate from SDSU's College of Nursing, she earned her bachelor's in 1979, a master's as a clinic nurse specialist in 1986, and a postmaster's certificate as a family nurse practitioner in 1994. She worked in a variety of professional nursing roles before returning to SDSU in 1998 to teach in the Family Nurse Practitioner Program. In 2004, she became the Associate Director of SDSU's Student Health Clinic and Counseling Services. Under her leadership, the clinic moved from West Hall to the Miller Wellness Center in 2008 for a more integrated approach of health care for SDSU students. She retired in April 2022. She has also been an active member of the Brookings Pandemic Preparedness Committee, which helped facilitate administering more than 10,000 COVID-19 vaccines to the Brookings community members. Yang Yan is a professor in the Department of Biology and Microbiology. In the past 26 years, Yan, either by himself or together with other faculty members, has created and taught or team taught 12 new courses and improved and taught another five courses in genetics, cell biology, molecular biology, plant biotechnology, bioinformatics, and plant physiology. He had his undergraduate education at Sichuan Normal University in Chengdu, China. He obtained his MS in plant genetics and breeding in 1986 from Nanjing Agricultural University and his PhD in agronomy in 1989 from the University of Missouri. He started at SDSU in 1996 and was promoted to a full professor in 2005. In addition to his teaching and research, he has advised six PhD and eight MS students. He has been married to Xiao Dong Lu for 37 years, and they have a son, Pei, and a daughter, Lin. President Dunn, Regent Brown, distinguished guests, members of the faculty, administrative leadership at the university, graduates, family and friends of the graduates, and ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the 2022 commencement ceremony of South Dakota State University, which will now be in order. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Air Force ROTC cadets Caitlin Darnell, Jens Enga, Nathan Lawrence, Miley Young, and the playing of our national anthem by the Symphonic Band. Please remain standing until the colors are posted and the anthem is finished.
you may be seated. Please welcome the president of South Dakota State University, Dr. Barry H. Dunn. Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be with you, and thank you for joining us. It is my privilege to serve as the 20th president of South Dakota State University and to welcome you to the university's 136th commencement. Thank you for being part of this very special day of recognition and of celebration. More than 1,600 students have completed degree requirements during the spring semester bringing the total number of undergraduate and graduate degrees conferred this academic year to more than 2,800. This afternoon's ceremony is for the students re receiving an associate or a baccalaureate degree, a master's degree, or a doctoral degree in the College of Natural Sciences, the College of Nursing, and, and the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions. As you can imagine, an event like this relies on the collaboration and efforts of many people. So I'd like to briefly recognize a few of them now. The ROTC Color Guard, Vice Provost for Undergraduate Education and Associate Professor Teresa Seafeld, and Professor and Assistant Department Head Matthew Miller, who served as faculty marshals assisting the students and faculty in the professional this afternoon. The Symphonic Band under the direction of Jacob Wallace, Assistant Professor of Music, and Kevin Kessler, Director of Athletic Bands, and Toby Euchre, Dean of Students, for announcing this afternoon. Please help me in thanking them for their contributions to this very special day. I also want to personally thank our honorary marshals who were introduced earlier, Brenda Anderson, Dr. Yang Yang, and Dr. Mary Caspers Graper. Will you please step forward? Please join me in recognizing them again as well. It is now my pleasure to introduce those members of the platform party participating in today's ceremony who will not be introduced later in the program. I ask them to stand and be recognized. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Lynn Sargent. Associate Dean of the College of Education and Human Sciences, Matt Vukovic. Dean of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Sciences, John Killifer. Interim Dean of the Jerome J. Lohr College of Engineering, Rajesh Kavasari. Dean of the Library, Christy Tornquist. Vice President for Research and Economic Development, Daniel Scholl. And Assistant Vice President for International Affairs, John Stoff. Thank you for being a part of today's celebration. I also would like to recognize and thank all of the parents, friends, and loved ones who are here to share this special day with today's graduates. You have provided your support and encouragement in countless ways over many years. Members of the graduating class of 2022, that's you guys, please rise and recognize and thank your parents, friends, and loved ones for the support they have provided you with a round of applause. So please rise and give your parents and loved ones a round of applause. The South Dakota Board of Regents Policy 218 describes an honorary doctorate degree as its highest honor bestowed upon individuals who have achieved distinction in their professions and have rendered outstanding contribution or service to the people of South Dakota, among other criteria. 
South Dakota State University has a long tradition of awarding honorary degrees, and Bev Warren certainly meets these, those qualifications. This past Thursday, I had the honor and privilege to attend the West River Nursing Ceremony. It was my distinct honor to present Dr. Warren, or Bev Warren with the, her honorary degree. Known widely by her students as Unchi, or mentor grandmother in Lakota, Bev Warren's accomplishments as a leader and as a registered nurse have spawned over six decades and have included care in hospital, community, international, and educational settings. Her role as a mentor in the Native American Nursing Education Center has impacted the lives of numerous Native American students, faculty, and many communities. Born and raised on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, Warren is an enrolled member in the, of the Ogallala Lakota Sioux Tribe. During her tenure, Nanek has grown to provide support for students at the college's four sites and includes 33 graduates. Warren's reputation as an elder and intergenerational role model has resulted in many local and national presentations to assist others in meeting student success needs including one to the U.S. Health Resources and Services Administration Summit on diversifying the nursing profession. She has won numerous awards, including a Native American Lifetime Achievement Award and the Spirit of Dakota Award. Most recently, Warren was recognized as a South Dakota treasure and an invaluable elder and leader of the South Dakota by the South Dakota Legislature in recognition of her considerable work for indigenous communities and greater South Dakota. Her full bio can be found on page 52 in our program. Whereas Bev is not present today, please join me in a round of applause to congratulate her on her enormous accomplishments. The university takes pride in all of its graduates but faculty and administrators take special pride in those who have achieved high levels of academic performance. I welcome to the podium Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dennis Hedge, who will recognize those students graduating with academic honors. Provost Hedge. Earning a degree takes hard work and commitment. A special group of graduates deserve extra recognition today as they have reached the highest levels of academic achievement. The program notes those members of this year's class whose academic achievements have earned them the distinction of graduating with academic honors, as well as those who are graduating from the Fishback Honors College. In addition, SDSU initiates students into the National Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. Members are elected from every branch of the arts, sciences, humanities, and the professional colleges. Only those in the top 10% of their class are eligible to election to Phi Kappa Phi. This afternoon, we recognize those who have achieved this high scholastic record. Will all graduates who are graduating with honors, those graduating from the Fishback Honors College, and those who have joined Phi Kappa Phi Please stand so that you may be recognized. Thank you. We also have students from across the colleges who have prepared to become teachers. Will those graduates who have completed the teacher education curriculum for certification as teachers please stand so that you may be recognized. Thank you. It's now my pleasure to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Jason Hofschild, Professor of Aerospace Studies for Air Force ROTC. He will recognize candidates for commissions. Lieutenant Colonel. It is my honor to recognize those students who have completed the Air Force ROTC or Army ROTC program and have been recently been or will soon be commissioned as officers to serve in the active duty Air Force, active duty Army, 
or Army National Guard. Please stand and be recognized when your name is called. From Air Force ROTC, Cadet Jessica Guile, Cadet Riley Jacobson. From Army ROTC, Second Lieutenant Gohan Whitebull. Thank you for volunteering to serve our great country, and I wish you the best in your future careers. Andy Fulberg is a 1999 graduate of South Dakota State University and currently president and CEO of the South Dakota State University Alumni Association. Ms. Fulberg will bring greetings to the graduates as they transition from students to alumni. Andy? Thank you, President Dunn. Good afternoon, graduates. It is an honor to be with you here today and officially welcome you as you join nearly 100,000 individuals who have graduated from this institution. Your hard work and achievements have led you to this day, and we are very proud to have you as part of the growing alumni family. Today, you ring the bell for the yellow and blue as you enter the next phase of your life as a jackrabbit. We at the South Dakota State University Alumni Association are excited to welcome you to the ranks of alumni as you join a growing list of staters who continue to lead their chosen industries and communities. This is a very special place. The people here have prepared you to do great things and we can't wait to hear about them. To recognize this achievement, a member of the Alumni Association team will congratulate you as you leave the stage with your first symbol of your new alumni status, a unique lapel pin given only to those who have earned the distinction of graduating from this fine institution. As you walk across this stage, you will be closing a chapter of your life, but at the same time, you will be opening another. As you leave this place as a student, remember that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you will always be a member of the South Dakota State University family. We at the Alumni Association are very proud of you and look forward to helping you stay connected to your alma mater and hope you will visit often. I would now ask all alumni in the audience, faculty and staff, to please stand and greet our newest members of the alumni family. Today and forevermore, you are Jackrabbits. Congratulations, graduates, and best of luck to you all. Thank you, Andy. An important and traditional part of our commencement ceremonies is an opportunity for a member of the graduating class to address the gathering. This year we have representations from both the graduate and undergraduate classes. Director of the Graduate School, Nicole Lounsbury, will now introduce this year's graduating graduate student speaker. Nicole? Thank you, President Dunn. I am pleased to introduce Bikram Das, a spring 2022 graduate who will offer remarks on behalf of this year's graduates. Bikram Kumar Das, a native of Kathmandu, Nepal, is graduating with a doctorate in biological sciences with a specialization in microbiology and a certificate in data science. While at state, he presented at numerous academic conferences and finished second in graduate oral presentation at the 2019 American Society of Microbiology North Central Branch Conference. He was president of the Biology and Microbiology Graduate Student Association and conducted research on the microbial community and natural prairie soil and its role in the nitrogen cycle, especially nitrogen fixation. The work also identifies the shifts in microbial communities and their activity within soil systems in response to either seasonal changes or novel fertilization techniques. Please join me in welcoming Bikram Das. Thank you, Dr. Lonsberry. Warm greetings to the faculty, staff, families, friends, and esteemed fellow graduates. 
I am honored to be here with you all. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone present here for their efforts in making this day become a reality for us. I especially want to thank the Department of Biology and Microbiology, Office of International Affairs, Graduate School, Center for the Enhancement of Teaching and Learning, and student organizations for their continuous support and guidance. Moreover, I want to thank faculty, staff, and students at South Dakota State University and the Brookings community for giving us an amicable environment to study. We all have made it through the difficult times. And together, we are here not only to celebrate our achievements, but also a successful demonstration of our keep going attitude. Today, when I stood in front of the mirror, all set for this prestigious occasion, glimpses of moments ran across my mind when I thought I would not make it. I'm sure we all have a story to tell. And of course, each of us endured different scenarios. However, one thing is common. Despite setbacks, we kept going. So I wish to share my story to represent all of ours. My journey started about 18 years ago. After I completed high school, I wanted to study medicine. In Nepal, students can start medical studies right after high school, and it takes about six years to finish. But I could not afford it, and there were no student loans in Nepal back then. I decided to study microbiology, as microbes are linked to human health and diseases at Sri Chandra campus, one of the leading public campuses of Nepal. Initially, my enthusiasm faded, and I could not focus on my studies. So in the first two years, my grades fluctuated a lot. But I knew that a genuine effort was required if I were to succeed. So I tied myself to a strict study routine and was able to do well in the end. After earning a bachelor's degree, I started teaching at a school. For the next four years, I taught at various institutions. By then, I had lost interest in medical studies. But I wanted to build on the knowledge I had about microbes. A broad education caught my interest. And so I searched for relevant graduate programs in microbiology. The education system in the USA is renowned for providing assistantships, which makes graduate programs affordable. And more importantly, fosters an amazing learning environment that leads to innovative research and discoveries. Also helps students gain hands-on experience after completion of their education through practical training programs. I made up my mind and gave all my efforts an apply. But I came to know that it was very difficult to get into US graduate program with a three years bachelor's degree. So I joined Three Chandra again, this time for a master's in microbiology. What mattered to me was my goal, that is to keep learning and keep progressing. If not in the field I wished for, then another. If not at a place I wanted, then another. Just needed to keep going. A friend from my undergrad, Biva, was a student at STSU. She spoke highly of her advisor and the graduate program. For her research, she used instruments that we only read about in books. In addition, she had earned awards and certificates for professional development. She revered the campus environment and the Brookings community. 
After I completed the master's program, she motivated me to apply here and helped me with the application process. I was elated when Dr. Brazel accepted me as a mentee and granted me admission to the MS program. There was one more hurdle, the unpredictable visa interview. The visa counselor asked me, why are you going for another master's degree? And I told him, if my advisor grants me the opportunity, I want to switch to PhD. He smiled and granted me the visa. I still remember that afternoon. I was very happy. These five years as a graduate student have been filled with challenges, and there were times when I felt overwhelmed. I'm sure we all have had such moments. We have all had experiences of pressure of last day to submit assignment, enduring lengthy experiments stretching for over 12 hours, and stress of preparing for multiple final exams in a day. Not to forget those last moment edits before an important presentation, challenging data analysis, complexities of writing scientific articles, and the anxious wait for editor's response after submitting the manuscript. The list is long, but we all kept going. Thanks to the late night study sessions, our impressive time management skills, and wonderful caffeine. Also, thanks to the motivational talks with family halfway across the globe, sought respites with friends at social events. Additionally, I feel the environment around the campus encouraged us in many ways to keep us going. The wellness center, counseling services, office of the career development, and our inspiring faculty and advisors. Each played an important role in shaping our personalities. A big shout out to all my mentors. They constantly aspired me to be steadfast so whenever I could not find a way or felt inundated, I went to meet them. One day, I was in the office of my teaching mentor, the late Dr. Donald O.J. I noticed a quote by Mark Twain on the wall. Do something every day that you do not want to do. This is the golden rule for acquiring the habit of doing your duty without pain. It has become a guideline for me ever since. Some days, I did not want to do any experiments. Some days, I would not want to do assignments. But I kept doing what I needed to do, each time remembering that quote and becoming more resilient with each duty and every effort. This, there is one more important message I wish to share, the Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Dr. Michael Heldreth introduced it to us during his class, and he asked us to be careful while using microscopes or during any experiment, because most of the time it's not possible to go back and change things, and it never is. Yet, mistakes are part of life, and whenever I went to share my mistakes with Dr. Brazel, he would smile and say, let's say I never made any. You have been a great mentor, Dr. Brazel. I cannot thank you enough for always being there, not just as a guide, but as a friend, as an inspiration, and for helping me keep my momentum of learning. At SDSU, we not only learn through coursework and research, but also from people and shared experiences. Now, we feel competent not just to lead or participate in research, but to persist. I want to leave the stage by sharing one last thought. Let us all make the best use of the momentum we have developed through our keep going attitude and persist for the good of all. Congratulations and thank you.
Thank you very much, Bikram. It's a terrific speech. Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dennis Hedge, will now introduce this year's graduating senior speaker. Provost Hedge. It is indeed my pleasure to introduce Zachary Lehman as this year's undergraduate senior speaker who will offer remarks on behalf of this year's graduates. Zachary Lehman, a Sioux Falls native, is graduating with degrees in biochemistry and physics. A member of the Van D. and Barbara B. Fishback Honors College, he has served on the Dean's Student Advisory Council and Student Recruitment Team. In addition to serving as a tutor, he has conducted research in both the Department of Physics and Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Zachary has been an undergraduate intern and teaching team member for two semesters in the Omelette Family Human Anatomy Lab. He will pursue a doctorate in the field of structural biology and biophysics with aspirations of running his own research laboratory. Please welcome Zachary Lehman. During my time at South Dakota State, I have learned countless lessons in math, science, art, and hopefully, for your sake, a thing or two about public speaking. SDSU has cultivated an enriching education, and we have all developed in our chosen areas of expertise. Today, let me guide you through one more lecture, a lecture about some of the less obvious lessons of development earned during our years at State. The importance of failure, the power of persistence, and the strength of our hard fought for resiliency. Today, we are here in celebration. We have reached a great milestone, and we celebrate that noteworthy success. While I will be among the many giving you praise, I also want to remind you of the humbling experiences along the way. A crucial ingredient for growth is failure. Maybe it was a poor test score, a missed deadline, a hurtful rejection. I encourage you to reflect on those moments. At first, the correlation between defeat and achievement may seem far-fetched. But without those moments, could you really maximize growth? When we began our time here at SDSU full of potential, ambition, energy, I don't think any of us were thinking about the challenges and setbacks we would face along the way. Remember, without dirt, you cannot cultivate a seed. So here, I hope you can see the value in failure. And as you leave today, towards whatever ambitious and exciting vision you see for yourself, I encourage you to be bold, take risks, and don't let the fear of failure hold you back. In any story about embracing failure, there's an undoubted theme of persistence. When things didn't work out, each of us had the strength to try again. I will share with you one of my favorite quotes from Les Brown, a world-renowned motivational speaker who kept me going on my late nights in the library. In an educational address titled Getting Unstuck, Brown shares this powerful message. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you have been defeated. It takes courage to start over again. None of us here today, families, faculty, administrators, or graduates, have lived a life without adversity. At some point, you have faced roadblock and rejection. To overcome those hurdles, you must be persistent. Forgive me as I draw on my background as a physicist and allow me to present you with this mathematical metaphor. Life is a frustrating equation. Sometimes you can plug in all the right variables, perform all the necessary steps, but still fall short of your intended solution. Success is never guaranteed. But if you choose to skip just one step, when you decide to neglect a single variable, 
you then guarantee the wrong outcome. You have all displayed great strength in reaching this point of your education or career. Learn to enjoy the journey, embrace this difficult equation, and find joy in the process of your growth and development. Your success is not defined by outcome, just as the solution to your equation is not defined. Rather, your success is a measure of the effort you put forth and the intentions you carry in your heart along the way. Lastly, I want to highlight the unique and undeniable quality which will forever be used to define our generation, resilience. For us, there was no better training than SDSU. I can remember numerous occasions walking across campus in frigid, below zero temperatures for an exam at six in the morning. I remember standing amongst my peers, shivering in the cold in anticipation for college game day. In retrospect, it was all just preparation. Our world saw drastic change in early 2020. The blow was shocking for all of us, staying away from our closest friends and hanging in the balance of an uncertain world. Everyone was asked to step up and our community rose to the challenge without question. Maybe all those days in the cold prepared us for this adversity too. Our amazing faculty adjusted swiftly to provide us with quality education via online methods. Our families, provided us with an enriching educational experience at home and welcomed us with open arms. Our administration worked miracles to bring us back to campus and to keep us safe. During the celebration and excitement, please be sure to thank the administrators, faculty, and families who are so integral in your success today. Please join me in giving these people our applause. Thank you. We faced this challenge together, and we should all be proud on this monumental day. I leave you today with the sincerest congratulations. We have all worked hard to get here, and I feel humbled standing in front of a crowd with such potential. As you move forward with your life, lean back on your development cultivated here at South Dakota State University. Be bold. Be persistent. Remember the power of your own strength and resilience. Reflect on your equation, and remember these important variables while you wrestle and curse the creators of calculus. Look back on how far you have come and put a smile on your face as you turn towards the future. Join me in celebration today, and one last time, congratulations, Jackrabbits. Thank you. Thank you, Zachary, for sharing your wonderful remarks. I am pleased to invite the Honorable Brock Brown of the South Dakota Board of Regents to the podium to authorize the conferral of degrees. Regent Brown. Thank you, President Dunn. Graduates. On behalf of the South Dakota Board of Regents, I want to congratulate all of you on your achievements here today. As a graduating senior myself, I know that your journey to this moment has not always been easy, nor did you expect it to be. Through countless hours of hard work and dedication, you have achieved something great, something to be proud of. And now, by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution of the State of South Dakota, I hereby delegate to President Barry Dunn the right to confer diplomas to all deserving graduates here today for South Dakota State University's 2022 spring commencement with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Thank you, Regent Brown. The candidates for the associates, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees will be presented by the president of the faculty senate, Professor Madhav Nepal. Professor Nepal? Thank you, President Dunn. The students whose names appear in the printed program for this commencement have been approved by the Faculty Senate of South Dakota State University. 
and the South Dakota Board of Regents to receive associate degrees, bachelor's of arts, bachelor's of general studies, bachelor's of music education, and bachelor of science degrees, master's of arts, master's of education, master's of mass communication, master of architecture, master of public health, master of engineering, and master of science degrees, doctor of nursing practice, doctor of pharmacy, and doctor of philosophy degrees upon satisfactory completion of the degree requirements. Will those who are to receive these degrees please stand? Please stand. President Dunn, I take pleasure in presenting these candidates to you in order that you may confer upon them the appropriate degrees in their respective fields. Thank you, Dr. Nabal. To be sure, are all the students standing? <laughs> we need you to stand. By the virtue and authority delegated to me by the regents of the higher education of the state of South Dakota, I confer upon each of you the appropriate degree with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining hereto. With, will the 18 PhD candidates please proceed to the stage accompanied by their major advisors. The highest earned academic degree is that of a doctor of philosophy. Generally, five years beyond the bachelor's degree is necessary to complete the PhD requirements. Formal coursework and seminars are a part of this degree and, in addition, the successful candidates extend the limits of knowledge of society by presenting their results of original research that has stood the test of their academic superiors. The candidates will be announced by Toby Eucher, Dean of Students, and hooded by Director of Graduate School, Nicole Lounsbury, and their major advisors. All other graduates, please be seated until called upon. Dr. Arwa Alsheri, in chemistry, advisor, Dr. Matthew Miller. Oh. Dr. Amrit Korala. Biological Sciences, advised by Dr. Volker Brosel. Dr. Bikram Das, Biological Sciences, advised by Dr. Volker Brosel. <laughs> Dr. Albert Idu, Chemistry, advisor, Dr. Melody Jewell. Dr. Ahmad Alhamodi, Biological Sciences, Advisor, Dr. Bishnu Karki. <laughs> Dr. Derek Brandis, Chemistry, Advisor, Dr. Jihong Koldai. Dr. Brittany Brennan, Nursing, Advisor, Dr. Heidi Meninga. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Melinda Phelan, Nursing. Advisor, Dr. Heidi Meninga. Dr. Samantha Fishbach, Nursing. Advisors, Dr. Sarah Molman, hooded by Dr. Thomas Stenvig. Dr. Caitlin Hurley, Biological Sciences. Advisor, Dr. Jaime Lopez Mosqueda. Dr. Prachakta Jadhav, Biological Sciences Advisor, Dr. Nicholas Butson. Dr. Xiaoman Lu, Geospatial Science and Engineering Advisor, Dr. Xiaoyang Zhang. Dr. Muhammad Sajadur Rahman, Chemistry. Advisor, Dr. Douglas Rainey. Dr. Eileen Guo, Pharmaceutical Sciences. Advisor, Dr. Joshua Reinke, hooded by Dr. Hemeshon Tumala. Dr. Muhammad Rabiul Islam, Pharmaceutical Sciences. Advisor, Dr. Hisham Fami, hooded by Dr. Himachan Tumala. <laughs> Dr. Chaitanya Valiveti, Pharmaceutical Sciences. Advisor, Dr. Himachan Tumala. and Dr. Jaya Yaha, Biological Sciences Advisor, Dr. Sentil Subramanian. Thank you very much. We will now award the Doctor of Nursing Practice degrees. Will the candidates for the professional degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice please stand? The Regents of Education of the State of South Dakota have authorized South Dakota State University to offer studies leading to the professional degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice. Dean Mary Ann Krogh of the College of Nursing will present the candidates for the degree. President Dunn, these students have completed intensive professional education and are well prepared to use their knowledge and expertise to serve as nurse practitioners to address the primary health care needs of the state and nation. These individuals were awarded their hood at a special ceremony last night. I take great pleasure in presenting them in order that you may confer upon them the degree Doctor of Nursing Practice. Thank you. By the virtue of the authority delegated to me by the Regents of Education of the State of South Dakota, I confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Nursing Practice with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Will those who have earned this degree present themselves to the stage for recognition? Dr. Brooke Boom. Dr. Amanda Goblish. Dr. Allison Hatcher. Dr. Dana Huther. Dr. Sabina Kadaria. Dr. Karen Knutson. Dr. Rebecca Taffy. 
and Dr. Laura Thomas. We will now recognize the master's, bachelor's, and associate candidates in the College of Nursing. Please present themselves to the stage. Marianne Krogh, Dean of the College of Nursing, will recognize the graduates of that college. President Dunn, the following graduates of the College of Nursing are professional nurses provided, prepared to provide evidence-based care to promote the health of all people. Misty Brendan. Rebecca Christensen. Rebecca Lemkul. Amanda Mead. Stephanie Robinson. Kristen Welbig. Brandon Harris. Brenna Anderson. Darian Anderson. Marinda Archer. Morgan Argo. Courtney Arkfeld. Danielle Arpan. Sarah Owen. Abigail Baker. Samuel Bangasser. Julia Bergren. Jessica Burnt. Addison Bernstein. Carolyn Blaha. Oluwatun Mise Bolagio Yanakan. Holden Breck. Shaney Brickacek. Morgan Briggs. Megan Brown. Emily Bussey. Mackenzie Cole. Ashley Conrad. Maria Laura Contreras Dalal. Brielle Cords. Haley Crawford. Lily DeCook. Alicia Dolan. Molly Dowling. Amanda Drews. Alexa Dulles. Avery Emmons. Norman Englert. Ashley Eskins. Kara Eskins. Hannah Ferens. Ashley Fishback. Keely Fishback. Madison Frazier. Haywan Gashaw. Michaela G. Alicia Glazer. Anna Hall. Austin Hare. Sophia Harris. Caitlin Hout. Kaylee Hennen. Kylie Huygens. Caitlin Irish. Grace Isaacson. Kaylee Jackson. Callie Jalen. Tori Jensen. Tyra Johnson. Hannah Johnson Galswick. Brianna Kirsch. 
Melissa Kogel. Mackenzie Krogman. Marshall Lane. Bailey Leonard. Logan McConnell. Brianna Luaji. Elizabeth Luaji. Sydney Madsen. Kennedy Marlowe. Brianna Melhoff. Amanda Meyer. Kaylin Miller. Ashley Moss. Olivia Murray. Riley Nettestead. Jordan Newbrand. Bailey Neiman. Caitlin Norfolk. Josie Oftedal. Haley Olson. Jessica Peterson. Anna Plotz. Jade Redlin. Sarah Reinertz. Paige Ruer. Emma Rice. Casey Riemenschneider. Madison Ropke. Haley Sagehorn. Allison Shager. Leah Schmidt. Whitney Sakelka. Brooklyn Slava. Alexandria Sorensen. Madeline Suter. Megan Phil. Rachel Van Ningen. Carrie Wagner. Olivia Welsh. Seth Swedland. Michaela Wevick. Brendan White. Kara Wiki. Madison Witty. Jacob Whitstock. Mary Elizabeth Volosevich. Paige Young. Sharon Ziri. Allison Zerfus. Adam Zebarth. We will now recognize the Masters, Bachelors, and Associate Candidates of the College. Wait a second. Thank you, Dean Krogh. We will now award the Doctor of Pharmacy degrees. Will the candidates for the professional degree of Doctor of Pharmacy please stand? The Regents of Education of the State of South Dakota have authorized South Dakota State University to offer studies leading to the professional degree of Doctor of Pharmacy. Dean Dan Hansen of the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions will present the candidates for the degree. President Dunn, these students have completed six years of intensive professional education and are well prepared to use their knowledge and expertise to deliver pharmaceutical care for the benefit of their patients in the state and nation. These individuals were awarded their hoods at a special ceremony last night. I take pleasure in presenting them in order that you may confer upon them the degree Doctor of Pharmacy. By virtue of the authority delegated to me by the Regents of Education of the State of South Dakota, I confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Pharmacy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Will those who have earned this degree present themselves to the stage for recognition?
Dr. Mason Arndt. Dr. Julia Beefy. Dr. Ashley Bernardi. Dr. Allison Bish. Dr. Zachary Bircham. Dr. Abigail Blanchett. Dr. Kayla Brady. Dr. Tate Broxick. Dr. Emma Brumfield. Dr. Brianna Brungart. Dr. Shelby Buller. Dr. Mackenzie Carlbum. Dr. Caitlin Daly. Dr. Ramsey DeHaan. Dr. Ashley DeSmet. Dr. Sarah Ike. Dr. Jet Finkbeiner. Dr. Kaisa Fierst. Dr. Quinton Glass. Dr. Grace Goring. Dr. Nathan Graves. Dr. Lisa Green. Dr. Sean Grosklogs. Dr. Hannah Haland. Dr. Lizzie Hagen. Dr. Grace Hikens. Dr. Ashley Hoffman. Dr. Connor Holm. Dr. Tanika Ingalls. Dr. Autumn Clout. Dr. Brittany Clute. Dr. Amelia Coster. Dr. Ashley Lacey. Dr. Anna Moore. Dr. Benjamin Ostaby. Dr. Kayla Party. Dr. Victoria Peta. Dr. Alexandra Peters. Dr. Taylor Pease. Dr. Kirsten Pulaski. Dr. Bethany Robas. Dr. Mariah Roman. Dr. Maggie Scheffler. Dr. Madeline Schult. Dr. Paul Schwasinger. Dr. Michelle Seastack. Dr. Jacob Steckelberg. Dr. Bridget Stewart. Dr. Jordan Thompson. Dr. Anthony True. Dr. Chad White. Dr. Caleb Whitmire. And Dr. Denise Zepeda. We will now recognize the Master's, Bachelor's, and Associate Candidates of the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions. Master's degree students signified by Master's Level Hood will be called first within each college. Master's degree candidates have completed advanced coursework in their chosen field of study. Will the candidates for graduation in the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions please present themselves to the stage. President Dunn, the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions prepares pharmaceutical sciences, public health, medical laboratory science, and respiratory therapy graduates with the knowledge, skills, and abilities to provide high quality patient care. 
These graduates are prepared to pursue opportunities where they will improve the health of people throughout the state, nation, world, and beyond. Brianna Amundsen. <laughs> Ellie Balkan. Casey Barcher. Mackenzie Baumgartner. Carly Blalid. Alexandra Bladholm. Ty Beckelman. Sydney Brusehoff. Samantha Brueggemann. Meredith Calhoun. Amy Cockrum. Faith Chrisman. Caleb Crownover. Brooklyn Downing. Mackenzie Durdall. Andrew Eggy. Morgan Ike. Jaden Gosen. Gina Groney. Mara Hart. Ashley Hess. Jaden Hintz. Micah Holtz. Tara Jorgensen. Lindsey Kimmel. Riley Larson Adams. Seth Locke. Haley Miles. Katherine Moser. Casey Mudder. Rena Neatfeld. Hyunji O. Oh. Olivia Pfeiffer. Anna Ricks. Lindsay Robotham. Megan Schroden. Kyle Shapcott. Benjamin Sheldahl. Amelia Steeny. Alexia Stumpf. Sierra Swenson. Charlie Tisdall. Tony Tran. Bryn Van Eldick. Alexa Vandenhall. Sarah Voitia. Trevor Weber. Tyler Weddle. Achol Ayam. Mohammed El Idrisi. Michaela Aguirre. Kaylee Gennant. Lila Ginther. Marit Hoimi. Madison Hyde. Charity Kapanaku. Ashley Martinez. Michael Sees. Mara Sprang. Nicole Summerfield. Zachary Wolfel. Julie Wood. Grace Fields. Dalton Javner. Blair Pekelder. Mayakin Adrian. Thank you, Dr. Hansen. We will now recognize the master's, bachelor's, and associate candidates for the College of Natural Sciences. Master's degree students signified by a master's level hood will be called first within each college. Master's degree candidates have completed advanced coursework in their chosen field of study. Will the candidates for graduation in the College of Natural Sciences please present themselves to the stage? 
Charlene Wolf Hall, Dean of the College of Natural Sciences, will recognize the graduates of that college. President Dunn, the following graduates of the College of Natural Sciences are prepared as scientists, researchers, and future educators or healthcare professionals, where they will impact areas of science today, tomorrow, and into the future. Asta Acharya. Surbhi Gupta. Tushara Dalugama Arachije. Adesola Ibitoye. Haley Janki. Levi Jayom. Rakibul Shogrib. Chunduna Kamaraj. Courtney Lusk. Tristan Caravo. Jaden Marks. Whitney Muck. Fad Nazir. Bijaya Pradhan. Cole Pudwill. Else Ruvikamp. Sadia Ritu. Brian Stahl, Whitney Yaboa, Tanim Islam, Ryan Jacobson, Eliza Arndt, Carly Albert, Kaylee Affey, Kaylee Bach. Faith Baumberger, Tanner Berg, Caitlin Bettine, Cameron Blackwell, Reagan Blackwell, Kelby Bringart, Bryn Boykin, Reagan Carlson, Alyssa Casper, Leticia Correa Mendes, Hannah Cummins, Maggie Curry, Reed Detbarn, Nicole Dial, Sam Deemer, Olivia Douglas. Kayla Edgenis, Alexis Elfstrand, Sarah Erickson, Katherine Erickson, Matthias Erickson, Peyton Evans, Alyssa Findley, Ashley Froyland, Megan Gilk, Lucas Getz, Clara Greenhagen, Melissa Hagedorn, Saganesh Halemarayam, Ian Hastings, Taylor Hastings, Molly Heinen, Madison Hodgden, Brittany Hoffmeister, Tylee Irwin, Riley Jacobson, Kayla Johnson, Abigail Castens, Riley Kluber, Casey Krejci, Zachary Lehman, Jacqueline Lattisaw, Samantha Labert, Tana Lick, Victoria Linson,
Morgan Logue. Christina Long. Adam Martin. Emma Martin. Georgie Matthew. Emery McManaman. Sydney Minchiff. Jacob Mitchell. Victoria Moe. Melissa Moisen. <laughs> Hannah Moran. <laughs> Nicholas Nackreiner. <laughs> Ethan Noble. Tarek Noor. <laughs> Christina O'Brien. Boram O. Olamide Ojedokun. Bryn Olson. Kenneth O'Neill. Jenna Parliament. Samantha Paul. Eliza Peters. Megan Rambo. Haley Ramis. Audrey Rummel. Lauren Schuler. Brandon Schult. Kushagra Singh. Quentin Steffen. Mariah Stensgard. Kristen Stoltenberg. Michaela Tegethoff. Ellie Fien. Michael Schwinghamer. Cody Thompson. Evan Traxler, Jada Cheddar, Kayla Washington, Drew Westerman, Gohan Whitebull, Emily Wildy, Sydney Wilson. Logan Wolf, Cody Wolf, Hannah Zanto, Rachel Karlna Diekman, In true Jackrabbit celebration, please join the symphonic band in the playing of Ring the Bell, our school's fight song. Words can be found on the back cover of your program.
come to the central moment in these ceremonies. If you have not already done so, I invite each graduate to move the tassel on your cap from the right to the left side, showing that you, have officially you are officially graduates of South Dakota State University. Audience, please join me in congratulating the new graduates. It has been a true pleasure for me to preside at this 136th commencement celebration. Graduates, you have now earned your degree. You have realized your dream. Let your imagination be your guide for your future. And may your time as a jackrabbit serve you well on your road ahead. We ask all to remain in place as the platform party exits the 2022 commencement ceremony for South Dakota State University is now adjourned.